everybody and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Isabella and I make lifestyle figure skating and vlog videos. So be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss anything. But as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be doing an updated skincare routine video. This has been long awaited. I've gotten a few messages from friends and from a few viewers that they have been waiting. So I'm bringing it to you guys today. I have definitely come a long way in my skincare journey. I actually did not start doing a full like skincare routine since I believe December of 2020. I do have a video on that, but I've definitely made quite a few changes and learned a lot. I've always been using face cream and moisturizer throughout my whole life, but I've definitely learned lots of things from professionals, from YouTube video professionals as well, and I've just sort of developed things that work good for me and that are affordable, high quality, and great. So I'm really excited to be showing you guys this video. I actually have more of a normal skin, which is, I'm so lucky to have that. But I also feel like on certain days it can be combo-y, just really depends. I have struggled with a little bit of fungal acne on my forehead before, but I've definitely worked very hard to clear it up and it's definitely improved. So... I'm going to be showing you guys my nighttime and morning routines today. I am actually super excited. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi guys, welcome to my updated skincare routine. Now these first couple clips are not about skincare products, but rather factors that have definitely helped playing major parts of my routine. Drinking plenty of water has helped with hydration and fullness of the skin, and it's definitely brightening, and eating healthy, juicy fruits and meals have definitely also helped. I do enjoy doing a little bit of self-care every few nights a week, so I have been trying out my face masks. I've been doing this rose face mask from Fresh, which I've really been loving and the Generation Skin Eye Patches, which I recently got in my Ipsy box. These are super, super fun. They're going to look a little crazy on my face, but it's super soothing and super fun for a night where you just want a little extra TLC. I've been doing my deep cleansing oil and pink cloud herbivore cleansing combo for a while now when I'm taking a shower each night. The cleansing oil double cleanse is a great way to get sunscreen off without using really irritating makeup wipes. This is one of my favorite products from DHC and herbivore. They're super soothing and they're really great to remove all okay, the product. Guys, I wanted to come on here real fast with a little skincare thing. Um, So I know that not all of these products are going to be all affordable and cheap. I did get a few of these gifted and I did get them in the smaller sizes and some of them are in Ipsy and BoxyCharm monthly boxes. So that is where I've gotten some of my products. But I just wanted to give a quick little heads up since I know I did say I have affordable products in my routine, which I do. I do have some things from The Ordinary and The Inculus, which I do truly love. But I personally believe that if a product works for you, sometimes spending just a little extra is alright as long as it's okay in your budget. So yeah, back to the video. If you guys didn't already know, I just moved and I've definitely been putting my bathroom setup together. I do have some fun mirrors and I have always, since December when I first started my skincare routine, been using all my products in a skin fridge. I cannot express how much I love this. Um, these are my nighttime skincare routine products. I've definitely changed it up over time. I'm starting out with my The Ordinary Glycolic toning solution this stuff has aha and bha in it which is super good i've been dealing with fungal acne before so on my forehead and this has definitely helped clear up and help my skin balance out i've been doing niacinamide to control redness that i get sometimes on my face and it's super soothing and nice for my face i've been trying out the dropper it also has zinc in it and it's also from the ordinary i love this product i really cannot complain whatsoever it just works super nice flows into my skin easily I'm a big hydration hits type of girl. I love my Inculus Hyaluronic Acid. Hyaluronic Acid is my BFF. I love some hydration on my skin. It's definitely a much loved portion of my skin. I do have more regular skin, but the hydration is definitely boosting since I'm out in the sun a bunch. And it's also really great. 
for my skin overall. I have been trying out a new eye cream that's more affordable. I've been loving this caffeine eye cream from the Inky List. It's got so many nice little benefits while also being super affordable. I've been trying to use affordable yet great quality products that have been working well for me and this eye cream is definitely one to add to the list. I love my moisturizer at night. It is a super thick moisturizer from DHC and it looks very thick and it does apply pretty thick but it just my skin gulps it up and it ends up being a nice lightweight cream for overnight it's definitely super moisturizing and lovely i love the feel that it gives my skin it's super it's just the feeling is literally luscious and amazing i love it it's definitely quite hydrating and in the morning my skin feels very buttery soft i also got this little biosance thing sent to me it's their little squalene vitamin c rose oil i've actually been really using this as a great way to seal in all of my skincare products each night before I go to bed it's a super super nice quality product I love the squalene in it that's also a great use of hydration the rose oil adds a fun little scenty touch and it's overall just a really nice lovely you know extra little thing that I do I always brush my teeth each night for it's sort of a part of my skincare routine and then I do my Laneige lip sleeping mask I have so many awesome things to say about this I wake up in the morning and my lips are still moisturized and super glossy from the night before this stuff is a literal miracle worker and it feels so good and amazing also I love the color pink and I love that this is pink because I mean I'm a I just love pink um but yeah this product is super easy to apply super hydrating moisturizing and it keeps my lips unchapped all day long so I definitely love that I use that sometimes morning and night but mostly just nighttime and now we're moving on into my morning skincare routine I do not use any cleansers in the morning um, I just wash my face with plain old water mostly because I don't really feel like it's necessary for my skin to do a second cleanse but either way sometimes I'll do it if I'm feeling my skin's a little clogged or something I always brush my teeth in the morning okay, after guys, I wash I my face to make one more little thing before I continue on with my morning skincare I usually try not to use too many fragrance products in my routine. Some that, you know, it really does vary, but some products that have fragrance in them can be very irritating. But I have found that the products that do have fragrance in my routine just work fine for me. So that is just what happens. All about finding what works for you. But yeah, back to the video. Alrighty, and these are my morning skincare routine products. I try to keep it as minimal as possible, but definitely using stuff that works really great for my skin. So I first start out with this Earth Sciences Aloe Vera Toner. I found this to be super nice on my skin. It's definitely such a great little lift and hydration boost in the morning. It feels so refreshing and nice. And then I move on into my 15% Vitamin C and EGF Serum from the Inculus. I'm a big lover of Vitamin C. Very brightening and it feels super great to use throughout the day on my skin. It, it is just such a nice serum that is very gentle on my skin but also gives me that really nice brightening effect and just helps brighten up any spots or anything on my face it just feels so lovely and it works super well i always do my hyaluronic acid in the morning as well like i said big fan of hydration and hyaluronic acid here um i do not go a day without this stuff this is just literally my bff like i've said already multiple times but it is just super great, super slick and easy to apply and gives me that full boosted hydration throughout the whole day. I always do my caffeine eye cream in the morning. I've just found this eye cream to be like one of the best I've ever used. And the best part is that it's, I think, 10 bucks. It is so great. It helps with my under eye puffiness dark circles under the eyes and definitely moisturizes since I do like a little moisture on my eyelids so that they don't get too dry whatsoever because that can happen to me sometimes and then in the morning I definitely love using my little facial rollers to depuff. these are literally so awesome I love them so much they are I got a new jade one and a rose one and it's just super nice and cold especially after being stored in my fridge so it literally feels so awesome and nice in the morning for deep puffing and just a really fun little experience um and then i've been doing my face cream that i've been using literally since i was a baby it is this stuff is the greatest it's a really thick moisturizer but it lasts all day long and it's super lightweight feel after time it just takes a little time to apply um it is literally my favorite it is the walita baby one. Oh my goodness you guys i love this this stuff works and it has been working for me for such a long time could not recommend anymore um 
And then I've been doing my SPF. I've learned from many people that you cannot go a day without SPF. I've been doing the unseen sunscreen from Supergoop. It's got an SPF of 40 and this stuff is literally unseen. It's clear and it is amazing. I've been loving this. It does not leave a white cast on my face, which is literally insane to think about because most of my old sunscreen sunscreens that I was using were definitely super duper duper white and they left a really large cast but that not that one anyway and then I move on into my final product I've been I got this little glow recipe lip pop the other day in my ipsy package and I've been really loving it it just gives me my lips a little tint to it accentuates the natural color and features and it plumps them a little and just gives them a little bit of moisture and hydration boost for the rest of my day alrighty guys so that just about sums up my skincare routine video I hope you guys enjoyed and saw and learned a few tips on skincare I am NOT a professional whatsoever but I have definitely come a long way and have had a definite skincare journey even though I haven't been doing it for too long but I'm so excited that I got to share it with you guys today and I hope you guys enjoyed. So if you did, be sure to like, subscribe, um, and let me know what other videos you would like to see. If you'd like to see a hair care routine video, I'd be more than happy to make one of those as well. So just let me know. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.